friends, I'm Shelly Shoosh. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another day in the life vlog. Today is going to be a super busy day, but all the things are going to be done at home, so bear with us. Um, we are taking a trip this weekend, but that will be in a vlog next week. Um, so I have some packing and getting ready for that to do today. I also need to go through my kids' clothes because they are both growing like crazy. Maverick just turned three months and he's wearing six month clothes because he's just a massive baby. So I really need to go through his closet. I'm gonna share a haul of um, all the new clothes that they got because I did a winter haul for Luna, but she doesn't fit in any of the things that I got for, for that winter haul. So. My mom actually sent us some money to do some shopping for the kids and I bought them all a bunch of new stuff in a size up. Um, maybe I will share dinner with you guys. Um, I'm not sure if we'll get around to that. I should also say, if you hear any noise throughout the day, throughout this vlog, my neighbors are doing some major construction and unfortunately you can hear it all. So I apologize in advance, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I will share with you guys whatever I can for the day, so if you like these day in the life vlogs, please give this a thumbs up, and let's get right into my day. Are you mixing up our waddle, oops. Are you mixing up our waffle batter? Thank you. Yeah, do we put sprinkles in it? Yeah. Good job, honey. So I bought a new Dash waffle maker. I love these things, this is my third one. I think there's and two I'm, more. I'm just mixing it. You're just mixing it? Yeah. yeah, good job, honey. There's two more that I want to get. I have the snowflake and the regular one, and now the heart-shaped one. I want a pumpkin, and I want an Easter bunny, and then I think I'll be good with the five. <laughs> I wanted to do this for the whole month of February well at least until Valentine's Day if not for the whole month so I wanted to make her a mailbox and then me and her dad leave her little love notes every night and then in the morning we open it up together and then I read her the little notes I just wanted to tell her all the reasons that I love her I feel like Luna is a kid that really thrives off of feeling special and maybe words of affirmation are her uh, love language so we put this together for her and we've done it for the last two days and she really really loves it okay let's open your mailbox and see what mail you got today that one and that one okay let's see so this one says, Luna, you are my favorite little person, and I love you. Tata. Oh, thank you. And this one says, Luna, I love you because you are helpful, fun to play with, and so, so smart. Love, Mama. Hi, Mama. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome, honey. I love you. Thank you for getting my milk. Of course. And Mr. Maverick woke up early today, so he's going to hang out with me in my office while I try to get some work done. This is his first time in the office. I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm going to try. Also, do we love my new mug? Oh, and my new nails. My best friend sent me a picture of these mugs. She lives like an hour away, but she found these mugs at her winners and sent me a picture because she knows I'm mug obsessed. 
and I immediately went out to try and find them myself and I found one lonely guy hiding in the, the aisle going up to the cash register. So we are just headed out because the sound of the construction is so loud and Luna is just like terrified of really loud noises. So we decided we'll go to the park instead. We go to Ladybug. We're gonna go to Ladybug Park. Yeah, you're right. Today is like the nicest day of the week. Once again, it is only five degrees outside, but to us that's like springtime. So it is raining a little bit, but it's just spitting. So we're, we're probably fine to be out for a little bit, but just to break up that sound and hopefully Maverick can take a nap in his, uh, in his stroller. So we'll catch up with you guys soon. Oh my God. We made it to the, the park. Guys, motherhood is like <laughs> so difficult everything is just 10 times harder once you have kids oh my god so we got to the park and uh realized that there's no path through all of this snow to push the stroller through so i got to like the edge there and sorry so i got to the edge there where i need to like turn into the park and there was no way to actually get into the park so i'm pushing my stroller and the stroller's just getting stuck in the snow which is so frustrating so i called my husband because he always knows what to do and he told me to turn the stroller around and pull it instead of pushing it through the snow because then i won't be digging myself into a hole basically and it worked but now i'm stuck here Maverick is sleeping so i'm just gonna let him do that and i'm just gonna play with luna a little bit here in the park and we'll see how it goes it's starting to rain a little bit more now oh my goodness i don't know about this day so i've got one over here and one over there and i'm standing in a triangle so that i can easily reach either of them in a second if i need to <sighs> whoa so cool Oh, no, I gotta stay over here where I can see Maverick too, okay? We just got back from the park. Um, they're making so much noise upstairs still. I just got Maverick down for a nap, but if they start again, he's definitely getting up. I had Luna watching a movie and eating a snack, but the sound is just driving her crazy. So she came into Maverick's room while I was feeding him to put him down. Anyways. It's time for me to get some chores done. It started raining while we were outside, but I need to get a lot of things done, especially because we're leaving on the weekend. So I gotta get some chores done around the house and get dinner started. I have a grocery order coming in soon, so I'll share that with you guys when I get it. <sighs> My little bug, poor thing. She's wearing her headphones trying to trying to cope with the noise even if you try you wouldn't understand it maybe something's missing inside of you just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter maybe you taste different hold up hold up baby i can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different Go on, blow up your ego Let's do some chores <laughs> Let's do some chores, you're so cute <laughs> That time I got a camera and then and Toddler's van. Okay, give me a second. Let mama just tell them what we got, okay? So, we got these cozy pants. Okay. 
All right, I just got my coffee order in and I just wanted to share with you guys all the ones that I got. I stocked up pretty large this time because I am down to slim pickings. Every time I go to Nespresso, I choose different ones depending on what my mood is and what I'm into at that time. But I always get a half calf because I like to have two, sometimes three coffees in a day and the third or second or third one needs to be a half calf. Uh, I did a decaf as well because I like to drink coffee at night and I cannot drink caffeine after five. Um, Ethiopia is probably my favorite um, type of coffee, Ethiopian coffee. And Intenso for the really rough mornings. The flavored coffees are definitely my favorite as well. So I got a caramel cookie, a vanilla custard pie, and then this one is one of their Christmas flavors and it's so good. And I, it's like a cherry type flavor. And then these two are both espressos. This one is a regular, this one is a double. Actually, nope, they're both right. double. So you would have seen these in our winter clothing haul, but I got them in a size up because they match um, one of the shirts that I bought her that still fits. This has, these are the cozy leggings from Carter's and the inside has like, um, like a fleece. Then we also got a pair in gray. Then we did two pairs of the regular leggings again size 40 and then we just did a pair of cotton jogging pants so five new pairs of pants so i also got her five long sleeve shirts these are all from old navy all of her shirts came from old navy so this one this one says wild at heart and then we did a pack of three thermals so i got a black one a gray one and a pink one it's all right mama you're okay honey i'm just going just going to let my pal walk my oh, way. all right bye bye then we got this cute little tie-dye. I love this one. I think this is my favorite thing that she got. And then I got a pack of six uh, t-shirts just so that she can wear them under like zip-up hoodies and things like that. So it came with a black, a gray, a navy, a white, uh, like a rose pink, and a light pink. That's all the things for Luna. So that will definitely get us through the rest of the winter. And then she has some t-shirts to get us through the springtime. And then moving on to Maverick, we got six sleepers. This one, they're all from Old Navy as well. Super cute, it's a little bear. This one matches it, but it's white with bears on it. We got some smiling avocados, a little navy with construction. There's like excavators and bulldozers and stuff on it. And just a plain gray. I think this one came in a two pack with the construction one. And this came as a three piece outfit. So it's a pair of leggings, but they look like jeans with some um, like brown camel stitching on it. And then it came with this super cute onesie and it has like a cabin with reindeer and trees on it. Very maverick. And then this is the real reason why I got that three piece set. It's just so we could have this Sherpa jacket. And last but not least, just a cute little knit beanie for him just to keep his little baldy head nice and warm that's it for the clothing haul short and sweet just enough to get them through the rest of winter which is probably going to go on for another two and a half months since we live up north but they needed the stuff my mom was so gracious and bought all of these things for them so let's get on with the rest of our day do you want to say hi to the people what's all that squeaking about he just started laughing this week too. Well, last week. Laugh. You give me a little laugh? Yeah, I love the sound of your voice. Okay, so right now it is 10 to four. The construction finally subsided a little bit. So I just tried to put Luna down for a nap. Maverick's in his crib here with me in his room. Uh, we need to get rid of all of his three month clothes because nothing fits him anymore and move all of the six month clothes over to where they're more accessible. So I'm just going to go through his closet right now, get rid of all the things that are too small and then I'm going to do his drawers as well. And then I got to get some laundry done so he has clothes to go away this weekend. Put 
you in that spotlight Looking at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you make me feel fine Wanna look at you all night Put you in that spotlight Okay, so I also forgot to show you guys while I was making it because things were a little hectic a little earlier. But we are having Philly cheesesteak sandwiches tonight and I'm making it in the crock pot. So because I don't like my peppers to be like super mushy, I cut them and I left them over here. Uh, this is in the crock pot for probably three hours on high. And then maybe in the last like half an hour, I will add my uh, red and green peppers. But so far in here, I just had some beef strips, I cut uh, half of a really large white onion. I added about a cup of uh, vegetable broth. I would have used beef broth, but I didn't have any. And then I seasoned it with Italian seasoning, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. All right, so it is 6.05. Our grocery delivery just got here. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a quick haul of what I got, because I hate filming in my kitchen. I have a kitchen that is from the 70s and we are going to be doing it this year but I always avoid filming in here because it, it is just like crumbling to pieces but then I remember that there are other people out there probably some people who are watching who wish that they even had a kitchen to begin with so you win some and you lose some I don't have a nice kitchen that's what it is. Anyways, I'm going to do a quick haul of uh, all the things we got. Mostly everything that we got is coming with us on our trip this weekend. So um, we're staying in a hotel that has like a full kitchen. So I plan on cooking for the kids and stuff. So I'm going to get right into the haul now. Okay, I didn't want to leave too much stuff in our house so that when we get back, I'll just do another grocery shop. But I did grab a few things for the home but mostly everything is coming with us on our trip. So we got a bag of apples, a red pepper. This is coming with us. It's already cut fruit. It just makes things a lot easier to add fruit to breakfast and lunch for the kids. I got two things of clementines because I eat tons of clementines. I love them so much. We always get a kefir, obviously, for Luna. I'm going to make white chili tomorrow, so that's for the white chili. I ordered two of these. This is supposed to be for mimosas um, at the hotel. I'm going to bring one of these with us. The, they're the little drinkable yogurts. Laughing Cow Cheese stays here. And then I got two dips, a spinach dip, and a hummus to bring with us. We also needed diapers. They did not give me the right ones, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Um, I like the little snugglers, and these are the little movers. Uh, also got two packages of wipes, uh, children's Tylenol, and an infant Tylenol because I want to leave those inside of the uh, diaper bag. Over here are the snacks we are bringing. So we've got goldfish, of course, some chocolate chip cookies, some chocolate covered raisins. Uh, these pretzel crisps are going to be for the dips and then veggie straws for Luna. And then I figured while I'm making her breakfast in the morning, I can always give her a croissant if she's like super hungry when she first wakes up. So those are nice, easy. So we are actually going with a couple other families and I plan on making a big dinner one night, but I wanted it to be something super easy. So I'm going to make a big pot of spaghetti. So I got some noodles, two things of ground beef, two jars of sauce. This is my favorite sauce, the President's Choice Marinara. And then I also got some Italian seasoning, so it'll be easy to season stuff. I'll just bring salt and pepper in the Italian seasoning, and that's it for, for seasoning. Um, we need tons of cheese in our house. We ran out of all of our cheese. So I have a shredded cheese, a, br a brick of cheese, and then provolone cheese, which I needed for our Philly cheesesteaks tonight. And then I got some sliced turkey, and then just like an antipasto set of meat, because I want to do a charcuterie for me and my husband when the kids go to bed. And then also two boxes of mac and cheese because that'll be a nice easy lunch at the hotel. And then lastly, we've got pouches. We always need pouches, as you guys know. Some bars to bring, some granola bars to bring, crackers for the charcuterie that I'm going to make. I actually ordered a small mayo, but they gave me a big one because I just wanted to carry something small for sandwiches. Um, chicken stock and 
some salsa verde for my um, my white chili tomorrow. White kidney beans also for my white ch chili tomorrow. And then I ordered small cans of Dr. Pepper to take with us, but they gave me big, huge bottles instead. So I'll probably just bring two of those. All right, so the loaf just came out of the oven. My husband just put it in and uh, put some provolone cheese on it. And our steak and peppers are ready. So we'll just throw this onto the loaves and we have a meal. And here we go in all of her glory. Can't wait to eat you. Okay, that's it for today's vlog, guys. Thank you so much for bearing with me. It's like after 10 o'clock and I've just realized that I forgot to film an outro. Peep the bags under my eyes. It has been a day. Thank you guys for coming along with us. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you are new around here. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube community. You can follow me over on Instagram at mrs.shelly.shoosh and I will catch up with you soon in a new video. Bye!